Is your gas stove or gas range clicking away and not firing up when you turn it on? Then you've come to the right place. For a long time, one of our burners would click away and not fire up when we turned it on. And honestly, I ignored it because we had three burners that were working. Unfortunately, a few days ago, a second burner went out. It was clicking like crazy, but would not fire up. It was all I could take. Because now I had two burners clicking away and not firing up, I knew I had to do something about it. And after doing some research on Google and YouTube, I discovered there was an easy fix. Yes! And I'm going to share with you what I did to fix my two burners on our gas range. So let's get to it so you can get your gas stove and gas range going again. First, I am going to remove the grate over the burner. As you can see, this is a well-used stove. I turn on the front burner. As you can see in here, the igniter is clicking away and the burner is not firing up. In order to get to the burner, I need to remove the lid. A disclaimer, I am not an appliance repair professional. This video should not be considered expert appliance repair advice. If you need expert appliance repair advice, you should hire an appliance professional to discuss your personal situation. I am only providing general information based on my personal research, experiences, and opinions. There are two hex screws securing the burner. You will need to get a hex screwdriver to remove them. I remove the two hex screws and put them to the side. I remove the burner and inspect it. If there is debris in or around the burner, you will want to clean it out. I take a few seconds to clean the debris around the igniter and the burner. I then get a sewing needle. If you don't have a needle, you can also use a small pin. What you are looking for is the small hole in the burner head. This is what allows the air gas mixture to pass through. This small hole gets clogged with debris over time and needs to be cleaned out periodically. I take the needle and pierce the hole. I move the needle in, out, and around to clear out any debris obstructing the hole. Unless it is badly clogged, it should only take a few seconds of moving the needle in and around to clear out the hole. You want to make sure the needle goes all the way through where you can see it on the other side of the hole. I put the burner head back on the stove. I then put the hex screws I removed earlier back in. I put the burner lid back on and confirm the burner fires up. It does and I'm a happy guy. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. And while you're at it, you may want to check out my other do-it-yourself videos on this playlist. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you will receive notifications when I upload new videos. And I will see you in my next video.